The natural history collections of the Beattie Museum have been built up uh, over the last century by generations of UBC scientists. Prior to uh, the Beattie Museum pulling them all together, into a common facility. The natural history collections of UBC were scattered around in different buildings uh, and really accessible only to researchers. The bryophyte and the lichen were open shelves and shoe boxes. The aisles were, you know, stacked with little trays we built. So that is how proud that we got towards the end there. The fish collection used to be down through an anteroom of a classroom, down some spiral staircases with lights hanging from wires, massive shelves tipping over and floods happening on a weekly basis, and just not the way you want to store natural history specimens. By pulling together the collections into a common uh, modern facility, UBC biologists were able not only to give them a better home for the long distant future, but also uh, to make them visible to the public. The museum opened to the public on 16th of October 2010 and since then we've been happy to welcome hundreds of thousands of visitors and very proud to show them not only the specimens that are so critical to our museum but also talk about the research that we at UBC do. With the public being able to walk through our collections and see, in many cases, how collections are stored, you get a view into the back rooms of what's normally hidden from natural history collections. Bringing the six collections of the Beattie Biodiversity Museum together has facilitated bringing them together digitally as well. So one of the best parts about our database is that it's comprehensive, it covers all the collections now, it's found in all in one place so you can easily find everything. It's made it broader and accessible for many different types of users with lots of images online ready to be used. The modern facilities of the Beattie Biodiversity Museum allow us to prepare and protect the natural history specimens for the long term.